Seven angels have fallen to Earth. Big mistake. We're going to tear out their souls and lock them in this prison for eternity. Sounds pretty dangerous. Michael's ring. These shackles will bind the fallen angels in their prison. Could you open those for them? So apparently, gotta go retrieve some bad angels. Does it matter which one we we go get first? I like this, the big thumb man, or whatever this guy is. Semyaza. You know the boss. Used to be an elder on the council. Okay, so that's one dude. Dude number two. Barakel. May this be the place he dies. I like him because he has a mustache. It looks like it's made out of uh, clay or silly putty, but hey, to each their own. Number three. I choose you. Arachiel. We can't let him live out his days on Earth. Now, each of these fallen angels has a different, like, dimension. Like, they've shaped Earth in their own way. So, each one has a totally different visual style. And some even have a different gameplay style to a degree as well. Which is really cool, I think. We'll have to see how it goes, though. Sariel, don't let his idea of love fool you. Pretty sure his eyes are below his nose, which scares me. That's kind of a disturbing decision for your facial arrangement. This guy's a tiny one. Armor us. <laughs> Good luck getting into it. He's got a giant monster of a nose. Holy cow. And what? We have two more. Long haired dude. With a cap or a helmet. Ezekiel. She talks of love, but doesn't know the meaning. It's the first girl angel. Oh my god. So we have so far what? We have five boys, one girl. And this last giant one would be. Who? Azazel, leader of the Grigori, and Semyaza's right-hand man. I see. We're frozen in place. Watch out, Enoch. It looks like they found you. Glorious. Anakto, I hate these guys. Actually, they're really creepy. Anything with really tiny eyes is kind of scary. Okay, we can't change the can. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven angels. Okay, for a second I thought there was only six. Hey man, I'm gonna rip you to shreds. Good night. Oh no, okay, fine. So in these combat arenas, it looks like I don't think I can change the camera. We'll see how it adjusts for us. What are we collecting? We are collecting magic dots, I guess. I don't know. They didn't want to really tell us. <laughs> I think it's just like experience maybe, or, or like leveling you up, or it's, it's some sort of good thing to collect, I know that. I played the demo before, so... I remember these bits, I'm not really sure I, what they do, or they power up your weapon, something. I'll figure it out soon here. Okay, so again, this is all one button, but... Um, I think there's an, yeah, there's like a finisher, I think that has to do with my timing, I, I would venture to say. I'm sure it'll explain a little bit more of itself later. The action itself is really fluid. I mean, even being only one button, I can I can probably parry and guard and counter, I'm guessing, later on, though. Probably will teach us the moves and the ways of the warrior. But right now, I'll stick to fighting these Noctos the simple way. Yeah, I should probably block those guys. I want to see if I can counterattack them if I block them in just the right moment. All right, here we go, more dudes. Take them out quickly here, whoa. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Descending into Earth. What awaits us? A giant rock, apparently. <laughs> All right, fine by me. This is it, Enoch. Your journey begins here. Hey, look, you like my pirate ship? It's shaped like a hand. A seven-fingered hand, which is kind of 
eerie in and of itself. And now I'm in the ice domain, apparently. We're about to leave this place. Whoa. Walking on water. Hello. What are you? Statues of Frozen. Alright, I feel like I'm in Final Fantasy XIII almost. The whole ice thing at the beginning of that game. Just crazy looking. Flying with the swans. Running along a pathway. Light and ice and... Hallelujah voices. These are called ramp, apparently. I thought a ramp was something you jumped off of, but apparently not in the world of Elshita. Alright, man. You look like a bug on steroids, so I'm gonna have to take you out. I don't like bugs. Look at the water. Crazy. Spears of... They look like giant fingers. Gross! Alright. Let's rock and roll. Show love. Hey, I blocked you. These guys are stronger than the ramp dudes, I think. Alright. Gather more of these orange bitter boos. Anything down here? Oh, some secret guys. What's up, man? Ooh, what's this? A bunch of them, maybe? An extra, extra lot a lot? What do we have at the pause screen here? Nothing. Do we have an inventory here? Let's check. No, we don't have an inventory, but we're in Chapter 1 at World's End, which is weird. Um, did it ever show us about those orange bits? Apparently not. Alright, well. Oh well, we'll just go on and see as we break more ice statues and collect more orange, orange things. The Archangels, Archangels, I mean, are uh, getting confused. His weapons, the Arch, the Archangels, are the guys that are going to guide us, apparently, and help us. Uh-oh. The Darkness, I thought that was a different game. More ramp! Even though you can't jump off of them. They look like the guys from Swarm, if you ever play that game. Um, it's, what is it, published by the same people? Yeah. Swarm was an Xbox Live Arcade game. Actually, I don't know if I, I don't think I ever did any videos on that game, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, it kind of has a limited appeal. But uh, it's worth checking out. You can get it for like five, ten bucks. I would say it's worth picking up. I think it's also on PSN. It might be on PSN as well. Whoa, hey, don't hurt me. Okay, so I can't whoa, I can charge up. Can I charge this up? Apparently. I almost forgot. Yeah, if I hold it, it does a like super attack. Hold X. Maybe he's gonna tell us about that now. Maybe. Some weird load time here. I don't know what that's about. Huh? Okay. Purification. As you purify enemies, their vileness accumulates on your weapon. It is possible to remove such vileness, but purifying the actual weapons. All right. So we have to purify our weapons every once in a while. Whoa! Otherwise, the weapon turns into a pure box of evil. But we've got the hands of holiness, and so. We're gonna make it green and white with love and honor. I don't know, whatever the heck you can get. <laughs> Bravo, be used to purify man. things. Behold the power of purification. It cleanses all things vile. Good deal. Purify the red light. Blue light is a sign of overflowing strength. I wonder if our weapon is stronger when it's purified. That would make sense. Special moves. When a weapon is equipped, you can move it in ways that maximize it. Alright. Hey, we can spin. Red bumper and A. That's probably important. Any more ramps or it's time to go? Time to go. Let's try our little... Oh, yeah. We got a spin, spin dodge dash thing. Okay, that's important. I was wondering if they were going to do a dodge. It seemed weird that they there was no, you know, roll dodge or anything yet. But this is apparently the dodge. This spin move. Woohoo! We can skip through like a... Girl in a field of flowers. Or a boy. Uh, you can be a boy and do this if you'd like. I'm, I have no, no objections to that, I guess. <laughs> Alright, more more evil old woman fingers. And probably more ramps in this pool. Yeah, buddy. I stepped on an ink splot. Special attacks. Okay, so... Good. See, there is more complication. You may think that it's only one button attack, but again, they're already... They're already giving us a, a different way to, to use the combat. 
and we can't spin through these guys and away from them. Uh, things get too dastardly. Yeah, and as you can see, I can turn one attack into a special very easily, and that guy dies so I can't really combo him in the air. Now my blade is getting a little bit evil, so we'll purify it. Phew! I thought there was me, uh, one of those like cutscenes every time. Smartly, they only show it to us the first time. If I had to look at that scene every time I purify it, I would get very sick of purifying it. I'd probably just turn into an evil demon, arch demon, right away. Luckily, though, it's an auto purifying blade, or a one button quick, quick start purifying. Cell phone? What are you doing, Lucifer? This is like 5 million BC or something. Where'd you steal that technology from? Hey. What's the matter? You don't trust me? I guess. Well, I'd say so far, so good. Uh-huh. You know I can never say no to you. After all, you are the Lord. Yeah. All right. Catch you later. All right, what's up, man? That's Lucifer. Say anything with Lucifer. Leave the record keeping in me. Just give me a shout if you spot me. I'll report upstairs and your progress. All right, sounds good, man. Thank you for keeping record of what we're trying to accomplish here. We should probably use number 50, actually. We'll use number one. 50 save slots in case, you know, 50 different people would like to play this game. So, Enoch. You can see Lucifer. Yes, hello? Remember to speak to Lucifer. He will record your progress and report to God. Sounds like a plan.